Hello and welcome to a new video about my control thing here, programming this. Uh, now we can select the mode, uh, manual mode, switching mode, uh, PID mode. Uh, however, we need to input data and I want to input data. Okay. Goal today is that we can in manual mode that we can enter this correcting value so that we can already select something that we simply make an input. All right. So uh, in my program, this input is usually limited to a minimum and maximum value. All right. So I want to 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 do this. Okay. I want to do this. So in my program, I'm adding again another header file because I want to have a little bit, you know, uh, have it a little bit separated. Yeah? And I will call this header file, I will call uh, limits, all right? Add a uh, new element, header file, header file, and this is, I will call it input limits. This is clear, input limits. Here we have input limits, I will again put it to the left side, uh, and I will define uh, max correcting value, max correcting value. This would be 100, uh, comma zero zero, uh, and there is a min correcting value, and this would be minus 100. Good. Good. I will include this here. Uh, input. Input limits. Right. And I will also make a input long input value. This shall be zero in the beginning. I think it doesn't really matter. Here, these are also set to zero, the correcting value, the start correcting value. And actually, that's it. I have for sure to output the input value. So we'll make a void function output input value. Yeah. I'll use the same here as here. And I will say, uh, well, the difference, the difference is that, that we, I want to display a cursor. Okay. I want to display a cursor. So I will call uh, lcd.noblink, then the cursor is gone. Yeah. Then I will set the output, I will call this output value, because we are writing the output value. And I will do it with the same parameters, column, row, and value. Yeah. But additionally, I will set now LCD dot set cursor. Uh, I will set this now to column plus seven, so the last, the last digit, and row. All right, and now I let it blink, so that there is a cursor blinking that we know. Okay, there is an input now. Written small. Good. Uh, I'm not sure if this is here. I probably should stop blinking in any case. No, no blink here. No blink here. Okay. Okay. So 
in main page, when we are pressing D, uh, I want to input, I want to have a new value input. Uh, and we have to write it. If overlay times is timed out, that's for sure. Then we want to enter the input mode. Here, uh, I will set the input value to, to zero. Yeah. I will call output input value and where to put it? Where have I put the, the other values? Output main must be down here somewhere. 12. Okay. Wow. Let's see how it looks like. 12 and 0, so in the first line at the 12, and I will say input value. Okay. And now I change the menu position. This will not be very menu items. Here I will have define menu main and I will call it edit. Yeah. And this will be 10. Right. I will call it the distant 12, then it looks more like I have a plan. <laughs> okay, and this will be main menu edit. Good. Now we change to edit mode in main menu. Uh, and I have then here a new case. Hmm. A little bit smaller. Here. Case. Menu. Main edit. And I will again make a switch key code. Alright, in case, what do we want to enter? We want to enter digits. Yeah? So in case we have a key 9, right switch correct, then this auto format is nice. Yeah? What else do I need? I need I need to have a, a long value value equals zero. Is this okay? No, it must be static. Static. I will set this value here. Also to zero. So whenever we enter the menu main edit, uh, this is zero. Okay, this is nice. So here in case number nine, I will say this value is one bigger. Yeah? And I make this for any case. This is a good idea. I don't know if this is a good idea. Eight, seven. So whenever I will no, make no breaks in between, yeah? because then if we have, if we are pressing nine, I will add nine times. If we are pressing three, I only add three times. If we are pressing two, I only add two times. If we are pressing one, I only add one time. And what if I am only pressing zero? What's then? Then I have to say input value times 10, shift it to the left, and I will also add, add the value. But 
this must then be always be zero, then this was stupid here. This was stupid. This is only the value I want to add. All right. So here, this is must be gone. And input value plus equal value. Uh -huh. And then I make output input value. Ooh. The same column like above here. Where was this? 12 and 0 input value. I simply copy this. Copy and paste is my friend. Alright, now we can do a break. Now we should be able to handle the keys from 0 to 1. Uh, what else? I also have to change the, the sign. I will use here the hashtag key. Yeah. yeah, why not? Key, hashtag. This will change the sign. So this means input value multiplied by minus 1. Break. And then I need to exit somehow. Case, key. I want to have this D button as enter button and the C button as escape so that I'm not, not necessarily take what I have now entered. So in key, I forget about the input value and just say output main page and say menu menu position is again menu main so I will switch back to the main menu that's it and in case I have key number D key D so the enter button uh, ooh, I need then to, to realize if I'm in manual or not, how have I coded this? This was the status. Mm -hmm. So, in case In case the bits bit read uh, from status and which bit was it? Manual. This means we are in manual mode. Uh, then we want to influence the correcting value okay then we want to influence the correcting value then we say the correcting value equals uh, the input value and now we have to limit this now we have to limit this uh, so the correcting value is correcting is the maximum of Cor correcting value and and the minimum minimum correcting value yeah. and so this will limit the lower and here we are limiting the higher okay now we added the correcting value and we change the correcting value and then we we make the same then I will simply 
make this in a different order. That's it. And also forget about the break. Good. Let's see if it's compiling. It's compiling. Let's upload this. Let's have a look what is happening there. the page. I press now T for input. Ah, ah, there is the cursor. All right. And now I press, I don't know, seven. Zero. Oops. Ah, okay. I'll just press enter. Correcting value seven. This was fine. This was good. Turn on. Okay. Let's use Pooh, there is something going on there. Yeah. Enter. Ah, it's getting brighter. It's working. Yeah. Uh again enter. If I'm using now three. Ooh, yeah. Okay. There is some, I now make minus. Okay, this work. Oh, now we heat and cool at the same time. Also not good. Mm, there are some, there are still some errors inside, I would say. I'm not sure. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, so why is this? Aha, uh -huh, because this is static. This was stupid. This was stupid. Good. So this is gone now. Uh, then. Then, then, then. Key code. Heating and cooling at the same time. Where was this? Where is the output? Analog right. Okay, I just... Aha! Not, not this is... Okay. If it's smaller than zero, of course, I have to set the heat pin. To zero. And here, I have to set the cool pin to zero. Okay. Debugging. Upload. Let's see if it's working now better. Turn it on. Enter. And I want to 80. 8. Yeah. Plus 8. And now Minus nine. Yeah. And now let's enter one thousand. One hundred. Okay, it's limiting. Let's enter minus five thousand. Oh, so. Let's make five, eight, nine, six, three. Yeah, minus. Minus 100. Okay. Zero. Good. Ah, a board. Let's use 10. Let's enter 10 minus. Oh, I have a board. Stays 10. <laughs> we can enter values. We can enter values. Okay. All right. Next thing we have to do, I mean, now we can enter values, we can output them. Uh, actually, we could already heat this thing up and so on. Uh, 
what I need still are parameters. Okay. I want to have the parameters, so the PID controller has some parameters. I want to have safety measures, you know. I want to have a maximum temperature where everything is switched off and so on. I, the the, the two-point controller has parameters and simply some parameters. I want to have these parameters stored in EPROM. Okay. Next time, we will do this parameter handling in EPROM. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.